Hello, everybody. What's up? This is Krish Mohan. Um, this is going to be a little announcement video that uh, that I'm trying to do. Uh, I'm sorry if uh, if you hear like a noise, like a something. Uh, I don't know if you can see uh, this little corner section on one of the, the over here. This thing, this over here, is a is a is a receiver <laughs> to. The air conditioning that's going so if you hear a hum in the background that's probably what it is and i'm sorry i apologize that this hum exists in this video uh but i wanted to do a little announcement video about um the general state of content creation for me uh as you might know i do a bunch of fucking shit uh <laughs> but it makes me sound like such a dick when i say it um no, but I know I do a lot of different things, and I've gotten, um, they're not complaints, they're more of just comments about, like, hey, you do a lot, and sometimes it's hard to keep up with all the shit that you do, uh, and I know that. Um, so I am trying to do the best that I can in terms of keeping up with um, tasks that I want to keep up with, projects that I want to keep up with. Um, and not overworking myself and not stressing myself out. That has been a real challenge for me uh, during the time of the great quarantining. So um, one of the things that I've particularly been uh, having a, um, a lot of issues with creating content for is uh, the original show that I, that I, that I started putting up on YouTube on a weekly basis, which is Forkful of Noodles. Some of you might be familiar with it. Some of you might be fans of it. Uh, some of you might be like, who gives a shit? I don't really know what the fuck you're talking about. Uh, I've explained this a couple times, so I don't want to go into like a very meticulous, intricate portion of um, explaining what Forkful of Noodles is. Basically, I started Forkful of Noodles in 2013 as a way to like talk about political material. Um, and, uh, and I think it transitioned me into, into writing more idea-based comedy, more philosophy-based comedy, uh, with the encouragement of, uh, one Stuart Huff, uh, and Lee Camp. So over the years, I've been doing it every single week. Uh, I would, I would take a week to do research and, uh, write on a particular topic. Uh, and I was doing it pretty consistently up till about 2017. 2017, things started shifting a little bit where the topic started becoming bigger for me to talk to, uh, talk about, and I missed a couple weeks, and then it's just kind of been on that track for a while. Uh, 2019 was probably the worst year for me to put out content. Uh, a lot of shit happened in 2019 dealing with uh, me personally, some exterior stresses, and the amount of touring that I was doing, it was very difficult to keep up with. And it continues to, to be that. that that's just going to be a challenge that I'm going to face if I'm going to continue touring when things in terms of touring come back. Um, in February, I made a video talking about how I'm going to do things in parts, right? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to uh, do a big, long, you know, five, six-parter, and then... Um, release them in chunks and then release the whole thing that'll give me more time to work on bigger topics and so on and so forth so i have three big topics that i've been writing <laughs> and researching and putting together since fucking february since like the like the end of january early february i've been doing this and it's and it's been really really difficult uh, with the external stresses of things and with the, the, the way things have constantly been changing in my life, uh, with, the, with the quarantine and the COVIDs and the touring and all this stuff, uh, it's just been a challenge. It's just been really difficult. So uh, what I'm going to do with Forkful of Noodles is I am going to take what I'm writing, the subject matters that I'm writing about for Forkful of Noodles, and I'm just going to drop them into the Citizen Revolution virtual stand-up comedy shows that I'm doing, which I'm doing every single Friday. Uh, if you don't know what they are, there's the poster for it right there, um, the Citizen Revolution uh, live virtual comedy show with, uh, with yours truly, Krish Mohan, right here. Hello, how you doing? That, uh, let's get, bring it back to my face there. Um, I'm, I'm doing those on a weekly basis in June, every single Friday, 9 p.m. Eastern, 6 p.m. Pacific. Um, so I'm going to essentially take one of the topics that I've been 
trying to write about. And I've had these, like, half, three-quarters finished pieces. I have a shit ton of research about the Black Panther Party, about third parties, about fucking Eugene Debs, about the Fed, whatever. Like, all these topics that I have. And I started writing them because I was like, oh, now that I'm off the road, I'll have more time to produce them. But uh, doing videos every day and trying to do this additional bonus episode of Taboo Table Talk... Um, and working on this show itself is a lot, and I have to recognize that for me um, and reconsolidate some things. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to take Forkful of Noodles and make it part of Citizen Revolution. So, there, so when you purchase a ticket to the Citizen Revolution virtual live stand-up comedy show, you will probably end up seeing um, one of those pieces. And then what I'm going to end up doing is, is releasing them. Because every single Citizen Revolution show is going to be different. I decided on that. There are segments that I'm going to be doing. Like the last one, we did a segment called The Bailout. So in this next one, maybe there'll, maybe we'll have a segment from The Bailout. Maybe we won't. I don't know. Dealing with economic issues, right? Uh, maybe it'll be more of a forkful of noodlesy type thing. Um, where, you know, I show you uh, clips from uh, interviews and shows and... It's more commentary and more informative, um, you know, um, very, well, I, I don't want to say very still, but it's like a monologue kind of piece, really. Uh, so, you know, and I think I can, I'm, I, I, it's like writing for the internet, right? Like, that's sort of the format that the Citizen Revolution shows are. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's what, that's kind of the future of Fork Full of Noodles for right now. Um, going forward, I'm going to be doing a bunch of these shows. These, these virtual live stand-up comedy shows. In fact, most of the Fringe Festival shows that I'm doing this year are going virtual anyway. So some of the material that I'm doing might end up getting rewritten and recycled for those Fringe Festival shows, depending on the, on the context of it. Um, there are segments, there are pieces that I will kind of rotate in and out uh, of, the, uh, of that Citizen Revolution show. But, it, but d incorporating Fork Full of Noodles into the Citizen Revolution shows is going to make things, I think... 250,000 times easier on me <laughs> and it's and it's me doing it to me right like I'm doing it to myself I'm not I'm not um, I'm not I'm not saying that I'm you know that it's it's some sort of extra it's, it's it's my own stress it's it's just me to it's just me kind of making that decision uh, for myself here so so that is what's gonna happen with Forkful of Noodles going forward so you will see more Forkful of Noodles it's just gonna be as, as encompassed within the uh, Citizen Revolution virtual comedy shows and then released out to the public much later. So if you want to be a part of the audience and see these segments, snag a ticket. Get a ticket for these shows. Uh, you can do that right now. It's uh, available on my website. It'll be in the description of these videos. The Citizen Revolution, there it is. Uh, once again, showing you the poster there. Um, but, you know, it is going to make things a lot easier the release of them are going to be very similar to the release as the the, the, the same way that I w was going to release them before. Um, it, there's just going to be some editing chicanery that I'll have to do. And that's fine. Um, it, it's going to make things so much easier for me. And I'm, and I'm not going to feel terrible about like not being able to get this content out because that's the point. And I've also wanted to do like a version of Forkful of Noodles in front of a live audience for fucking ever now. Like, I've been wanting to do that forever. Uh, and, I've, and I haven't had an opportunity to. So this will kind of, this will kind of give me that opportunity. Um, and it, it's one of those things that I think... I've been, I've been trying to figure out how to, how to do. And doing these Zoom shows, these virtual shows... I think kind of opened up that opportunity. So I might as well grab it and go, right? It just makes sense. Of course, this thing would fucking stop right at the, right as I'm trying to wrap up the video. Son of a bitch. Uh, but <laughs> that is the future uh, of, of Forkful of Noodles. It'll still probably be released in parts. The show is, like I said, every Friday at 9 p.m. What I might end up doing is... Um, releasing the just like I did before every Monday every Monday you will see a brand new video Monday morning um and 
I might that that's also probably going to mean that I'll probably scale back my my live streams a little bit more. Um or and try my best to stay consistent with those. Uh two episodes of Taboo Table Talk, Citizen Revolution every Friday, Saturday and Sunday we'll do live streams which gives me Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday to just work on shit, work on content, work on producing things. And if something kind of crazy and breaking news happens, um, I will go live and talk about it. That will be the plan. Uh, So again, um, I hope you guys are, I'm sure you guys are fine with it. Uh, (laughs) But... Uh, leave a comment, hit the like button, subscribe to this channel if you're interested in um, idea-based comedy, uh, idea-based philosophy, politics, sociology, psychology, all of those topics in, in, in comedy. Uh, you can subscribe to this channel. Uh, you can like my page. You can get updates, uh, sign up for my email list, download my albums. You can do a bunch of shit. Uh, to to support support what I do, um, but the biggest thing, if you want to be part of the audience for Forkful of Noodles, you uh, can purchase a ticket and uh, come attend those virtual uh, comedy shows that I'm going to be doing uh, every Friday in June. We'll probably take one week off in July for uh, whatever the fuck the Fourth of July is going to be, and uh, and then and then go back into doing them in um, doing them in July as well. So going forward essentially every Friday at 9 p.m. Um, unless I'm in some kind of a virtual festival or something else, <clears throat> I will be doing them going forward till it looks like um, we can responsibly be back uh, to a version of normalcy. Uh, so so that is that is the trek going forward. Uh, okay. Thank you for listening and watching and, uh, and, and hopefully we'll see you at one of these live virtual comedy shows.